Today we're going to make lentil shepherd pie or shepherdless pie. We have onion, we have garlic, we have coriander, we have chili paste, uh, cilantro, uh, lentils, boiled lentils, and sautéed mushroom, and then some uh, roasted butternut squash, and some crushed tomatoes. So to make the stuffing pomegranate molasses, to make the stuffing, well, I'm still not making the stuffing. This is the topping is the potatoes. So we start by making the stuffing. You saute the onion in an olive oil and try to, to saute them in a very low temperature just to, to release all the flavor and almost getting sweet flavor from out of the onion. So you saute, then you add some garlic. Um, I love spices and I love seasoning and you should not be overpowering your dish. You should make a combination. They all work together. So we have the coriander and then we have chili paste. And after that, as you see, parsley, uh, sorry, cilantro. And I love cilantro. I love the cilantro with the coriander and the chili paste. And after that, you saute them about a couple minutes. You add your uh, crushed tomatoes. At this stage, you could smell the all the this wonderful aroma you add about two cups of water depend how much lentils you're adding then you have some salt and then some uh, black pepper you stir and you bring it to a boil uh, the reason you bring it to a boil now you you're just basically trying to have all the flavors come together we have the pomegranate molasses you add it stir it and at this stage, you taste to adjust the flavor. If you need a little bit of salt, if you like it more spicy, uh, more coriander, more pomegranate, at this stage, you add them all before you add your lentils and your mushroom. So I obviously I didn't add anything, so I think it's perfect. So we bring it to a boil, add your lentils. They're already cooked lentils. If you want to add raw lentils, then you have to about four cups of water and add the lentil, bring them to boil before you add the mushroom. But these are already cooked lentils. So you stir and you're adding your roasted uh, sliced butternut squash. You're just bringing all the flavors together. This will be the base for our shepherd less pie. So we're going to finish up the shepherd pie. Of course, this is shepherd less because there's no meat, it's, uh, it's vegan. So we, we made the lentil stuffing, lentil mushroom stuffing. Now for the topping, it's a mashed potato. What I did, I boiled the uh, potatoes, I peeled them, cut them into cube, put them in the water with some turmeric and ginger, and then when they're saw, when they're done, I just mashed them with some olive oil, more turmeric, salt, and pepper. And now you need to spoon them into um, basically the pastry bag. If you don't have a pastry bag, no problem. Just get a Ziploc bag and cut the tip and then you spoon them inside as we do here and then we'll finish up the shepherd pie. You can stop by here. <laughs> so now we spoon the lentil mushroom stuffing which we did make earlier. And you can make this one a couple days ahead of time. Now we're going to put the top, the potato topping. And if you don't want to do it like flour, which is fine, you can just put the potatoes on top and just make a decoration with your fork. This one, now we do it like this. Now we take it and we'll bake it in 390 degree oven for about 20 minutes. Shepherd pie after we baked it and it's vegan and whoever said vegan can be taste good, I'll say it tastes great. Just think all the herbs, everything is plant based so it is vegan. See how nice you spoon it, smells great, you have the cilantro, the ginger, chili it's hot so be careful and then 
looks great, smells great, tastes great. Enjoy.